1944, some projects of a intercontinental bomber were on the table of German high command. In particular the Silbervogel from Professor Sanger. The extraordinary advanced new concept of bomber. But some important problems had to solve. The application of pure rocket propulsion to aeronautics suffered at 1944 limitations imposed on exhaust speed and flight velocity by constructional difficulties. Because of the thermal stresses on the engines, the exhaust speed was not raised to the physically possible limits. In particular for jet propulsion on hypersonic flights. Because of the mechanical stresses on the airframe, the velocity of flight had not yet gone beyond the velocity of sound. With the basis of extensive physical and physics chemical studies, we should discuss some of these two limits were surpassed. In addition several suggestions as to construction were made, which should facilitate overcoming the limitations. The range of flight speed several times the velocity of sound was the exclusive domain of the pure rocket, which developed the propulsive jet entirely from the fuel carried on board the aircraft. The pure rocket could also compete in cost at lower speeds, if propulsive forces of great magnitude or short duration were required, or if no surrounding air was available but also under water or outside the perceptible atmosphere of the Earth. These special characteristics had rocket propulsion a broad domain of application to military techniques. Pure rocket engines make only very incompletely use of the energy made available by the fuel. However, since the craft was not loaded down by the energy carried on board but rather by the weight of the fuel, this disadvantage could be counteracted by use of fuels with the maximum possible energy content per unit weight. Thus rocket fuels represented, on the one hand, carriers of energy with maximum concentration of energy per unit mass and per unit tank space. On the other hand, they were the carriers of those masses from which the jet of the engine was developed.